Harab, come back! Come back! Come back! Okay, that Christian, okay? Is that what I said? Brother, brother. Is that what I said? I didn't say that. Well, that's that brother. Christian. Brother, that, that, that Christian came over to have a debate. He had a phone call, so he's attending the phone. Maybe he will come back, or maybe he will find that as a reason to run away. You know, one of the two. We will know if he comes back or not. Anyway, not you. The Christian, okay. We must, and let me tell you, we Muslims, we don't run away from anyone. We Muslims, we don't run away from atheists. We don't run away from socialists. We don't run away from communists. We don't run away from Zionists. We don't run away from Christians. Whether those Christians are Catholic, whether those Christians are Protestant, whether those Christians are Orthodox. Why? Because when we Muslims come to speaker's corner, we come to speak. We don't come to run away. No. So, anyway, Alhamdulillah, it is very nice to see that there are a lot of Muslim brothers here. And it is very nice to see that the Muslims are giving da'wah. It is very nice to see that Muslims are abiding by this sunnah of our Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and all the other prophets who were who came to earth previously. Because when we give da'wah, when we preach, we are using our mouths, inviting people towards Islam, inviting people towards peace, because Islam is peace. When we are speaking, we are inviting people towards the haq, towards what is the truth. When we speak, we tell people what is right, what is wrong, what we can do, what we cannot do, what is justice, what is injustice. As Muslims, when we come, we seem to be very busy when we start speaking. When we start speaking, we are very busy. How? Because we seem to get a lot of people who listen to us. And we seem to get a lot of people who look at us through the YouTubes of Speaker's Corner. And that is a great thing. Why? Because Speaker's Corner is in London, Hyde Park, London, England, United Kingdom. But when people listen to us on YouTube, they see us on YouTube, they can listen to us whether they are sitting in North America, in South America, in Europe, in Asia, in Africa, in Australasia, in any continent, any country. Alhamdulillah. So, as Muslims, we have nothing to fear about when we speak. Why? Why as Muslims, when we speak, we have nothing to fear? Is because we are Muslims. And as Muslims, we are supposed to fear who? As Muslims, when we read our Quran, we are supposed to fear Allah. How? Because in the Quran, Allah tells us in Surah Al-Baqarah, the cow, Surah chapter number 2, ayah, verse number 195. Verse number 195. Allah says, Wattakullah, Wattakullah, fear Allah, fear Allah. And of course, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that in many other surahs of the Quran, in many other ayahs of the Quran. So the thing is this, we are Muslims, we are not hypocrites. Why? Because as Muslims, 
Our holy book is the Quran. And as Muslims, when we read our Quran, and we read, Allah says in our Quran, Wattakullah. Allahu Akbar. So as Muslims, when we read our Quran, and it says Wattakullah, fear Allah. So the only fear we have is the fear of Allah. Why? Because Allah is the creator. Why should we fear Allah? Because Allah is the God Almighty. Why should we fear Allah? Because we are answerable to the creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why should we fear Allah? Because Allah is the one and only creator of the world. We cannot fear Buddha. As Muslims, we cannot fear Buddha. As Muslims, we cannot fear Rama. As Muslims, we cannot fear Ganesha. As Muslims, we love Isa Islam. The Prophet, the righteous Prophet Isa Islam. The honorable Prophet Isa Islam. We love him. But as Muslims, we don't have to fear the Prophet Isa Islam. We don't have to fear Jesus. Peace be upon him. Why? Because as Muslims, Allah tells us in our Quran, Wattakullah, Wattakullah, fear Allah. So we fear Allah, the one and only creator. So as Muslims, we are involved in doing so much that is good. As Muslims, we are very helpful. As Muslims, we are very helpful. Okay. In your channel, I haven't said it, so I will say it. 11th November, Assalamu Alaikum. 11th, Assalamu Alaikum, Barak Assalamu Alaikum. 11th November, last Sunday, was the Remembrance Day. Armistice Day, when World War I came to an end. When the Central Powers, Germany, Austria-Hungary, Bulgaria, and the Ottoman Empire, we Muslims say the Osmani Empire, they stopped fighting in the First World War. There were few. On the other side was the whole world. On the other side was Great Britain, France, Russia, the United States of America. You know, in the First World War, when more than 31 million human beings they lost their lives. From the time First World War, First World War was declared. Great Britain declared it on 2nd of August 1914 till 11th November 2018. More than four years. First World War fighting took place. And you know, how did it take place? The Muslims, they never started it. I hear so many times people say, Muslims kill, kill, kill. So many times I hear people say, Muslims start wars. Muslims start battles. Muslims start fighting. This First World War, where more than 31 million human beings, soldiers and civilians from the different countries,
from the Allied side, from the Central Powers who were killed. Among the soldiers who were killed, among the people who were killed in the First World War, more than 3.3 million Russians were killed, soldiers and civilians. There are different figures. This is one of the figures. In the First World War, more than 984,000 British were killed, soldiers and civilians. In the First World War, more than 725,000 Serbians, Christians, they were killed. In the First World War, more than 600 80,000, 680, more than 680,000 Romanians, they were killed. The First World War, it was started how? A Serbian Christian, you heard about Serbia, a Serbian Christian, he shot dead. A Prince Archduke, Franz Ferdinand of Austria-Hungary. He shot him dead. As a result, Austria-Hungary, Christians, they declared war on Serbia. Christians. And when Austria-Hungary, Christians, declared war against Serbia, who were Christians? Russia also mainly Christian, they came on the side of Serbia. And then France, can I finish this? Can I, okay, okay, I will. Can I, I will, can I just finish it? When Russia came on the side of Serbia, also France also came on the side of Serbia. United Kingdom also came on the side of Serbia. And later on, the United States also ended up on the sides of United Kingdom, France, Serbia. Okay, now, okay, I've been asked by a question, so... Christian, thank you very much. Sir, I'm a Muslim, you ask me, how do I, would I define a Christian? Thank you very much. Sir, as a Muslim, to me, a Christian is someone who believes that the Prophet Jesus was God. A Christian is someone who sometimes believes that Jesus was a prophet. But they believe in Jesus. A Christian, sir, can I, can I answer you? Thank you very much. A Christian is someone who says he believes in the Bible. A Christian is someone who goes to church and because he's a Christian, he would pray in a church. A Christian is someone who would say that Jesus was crucified. A Christian is someone who says that Jesus paid for the sins of everyone. A Christian is someone who believes that if you believe in Jesus, your sins are forgiven. Now let me ask you, sir. I am a Muslim. Are you a Christian? I am. Ah, thank you very much. So you're a Christian, you just ask a Muslim who is a Christian. Okay, thank you very much. That's why I'm asking myself. Okay, thank you very much. So, this is Speaker's Corner. In Speaker's Corner, Walaikum Salaam, how are you brother? Sir, in Speaker's Corner, we have many speakers, including Christian speakers. Sir, in Speaker's Corner, 
I am one of the Muslim speakers. Okay? Sir, as a Muslim, I can speak about Islam, about the Creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, about the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, about our Quran. And sir, as a Muslim, I can speak about the Christian Bible. Would I be able to speak about Jesus openly in Saudi Arabia? Thank you very much. Would I be allowed okay. to speak about Jesus in Saudi Arabia like you do? Thank you very much. Brother? Answer the question. Okay, okay Answer brother. Question. Brother? Answer the question. Okay, the doctor. Okay, the I, I will. No is the answer. Quite and done, I will. Allah Akbar. I am in my own country. There is no freedom in Islam. No freedom for Christians in Islam. Did Islam you know? They are persecuted. They have been murdered. Can you be? Allah, what are you just lying? Jesus is you. Lord. Okay, come back. You are running away. You ran away from there. You are running away. Excuse me. How comes you say we Muslims believe in killing? And yet you Christians, you say Jesus was God. And yet, on, can I finish? Can I finish? You asked me a question. You said, I'm asking to. I will. I will come back. Manners, come back. That Christian right, right. said he ran away. Stay there. Stay there. Another Christian came. He said something. Okay. So that Christian who came and has run away, has retreated. He said, We Muslims, we kill, kill, kill. He said, We Muslims, we are killers. Yet, the Christians, they commit the biggest killing of all times. How? The Christians say that Jesus was God. And yet, every time Christians speak, they kill Jesus. They say, Jesus, he died. Jesus, he died. In other words, Christians who say Jesus was God, when they say Jesus died, they are killing Jesus. We Muslims, we Muslims, though people say we are killers, but we Muslims, we tell you the truth. We are not killers. We tell you that Jesus never died. You, you, you said, you said that Christian, yeah, we, 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 we believe that Jesus was killed, yeah, but according to your Quran, say that uh, Jesus never died, didn't okay. die, okay. and then Allah took someone who looked like a Jesus and been crucified okay. in Jesus' place, so means that, means that your God is the one who put in the Christian mind people, or received some people to believe that Jesus was crucified. Are you making a speech or are Ask me a question. Okay, ask me a question. Simple. Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Allah Akbar. Now listen. As Muslims, we believe in our Quran. Yeah, your Quran says so. That in it. What our Quran says from the beginning to the end is hundred percent true. What our Quran says from the beginning to the end. Is hundred percent correct. Are you sure what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. Say. Okay. One Christian or a child, madam, be quiet. Okay, brother. Okay. Say. Say. Tell your Christian fellow Christian lady to be quiet. One to one. Okay. Okay. Yes. Listen. Was Jesus God? No, you don't no, answer my question. What do you mean? Wait a minute. Okay. You don't answer my question. My question was that was direct say like to you. We Christians believe that Jesus was crucified. Okay. According to your Quran, say Jesus never died. Okay. Is it not true or not? Okay. Jesus was not crucified. No. But he said Allah took someone else. Yes. Put a makeup period to a lot of people. Uh, to yes. people to think I that was not Jesus. In other words, your God, God is the one who tricked Christians who think that was Jesus. No, 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 no. Hold on. Hold on, actually, hold on. Can I speak? Allah, what for? Allah put someone in place of Jesus. Who is this guy? Can I speak? Can I excuse me? Can I speak? Can I speak? Can I speak? Brother, brother, can I speak? Do you actually believe in your Bible? Of course I do. So what Jesus God? 
Okay, make brother, make up your mind. Excuse me, can I can I can I speak? Can I speak? Can I speak? Can I speak? Yes, he was a prophet. Show me show me in the Quran where he said that he was a prophet. Show me in your Show in the Quran? Yes. So many places. Show me in the Quran. When he said that he's a prophet. Okay. One of them is in Surah Al Anbiya. Oh, what is that? Like you got your is, it, is, it, is it the last Don't worry, actually, one no, Christian. No, 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 no. What's wrong with you Christians? Pick up a spokesperson. Three Christians speaking at the same time. This side is one Muslim. Okay. Listen, I will answer you. Listen, I will answer you. Excuse me. Mr. Christian. Mr. Christian. Go ahead, sir. First of all, when you speak, ask a question, you should listen to the answer. But you don't answer, okay. you don't give up the answer, that's why. You keep talking, you keep talking. Look, this, look at the manners of this Christian lady. She is quiet. This Christian lady, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Allah, what man? You get offended because lady asks a question. No, no, you are losing. Lady can ask a question. Why? Okay. Why can't lady can speak? Why? Why the lady can ask you a question? Why don't you listen? Why don't you listen? Look. Me and him, you can speak, but lady can speak. That's no good. Look, look, one. Don't you have manners? Don't you have manners? This is why he said. Don't you have manners? Look, three Christians speaking at the same time. Which one do they want me to answer? Can you imagine? From this side, one Muslim is speaking. They can't even organize themselves. They can't even have one spokesman. Okay. They ask me a question. I want to answer. Whilst I'm answering, they start speaking. In other words, in other words, even children have manners. They are grown up. And they don't seem to know how to debate. When you ask me a question, listen to the answer. They ask me a question, when I'm speaking, answering, they start speaking as well. Anyway, Allah Akbar. As far they started speaking, I will carry on. Now, can I tell you, according, according to the Christian Bible, brother, according to the Christian Bible, are you a Christian? I said to you, yes, I am, yeah. Is she a Christian? Yes, I, I, I believe it. Well, what, what, Jesus Christ? I'm asking you, is she a Christian? Answer me. How come the creator was hanged up? Brother, answer me. Now they start speaking. The God sent ah, Okay, now, is she a Christian? Shall I speak to you or to her? You can speak to her. So why two Christians speaking to one Muslim at the same time? No, no, no. This is How reckless you can't. Brother, brother. Okay. Sir, are you a Christian? Sir, sir, you're a Christian? Yes, I am. Okay. Do you can you be quiet? We are debating. Okay, can she speak? Yes. In this do you believe in your Bible? Do you believe in your Quran? Yes. Yes, I do. You believe in the Bible. What does the Bible say about women speaking? One Bible, 400 Bible were presented at the conference of Nisya. Brother, Jazakallah. Brother, excuse me. Brother, Jazakallah. Excuse me, excuse me. Uh, Your Bible, Christian Bible, Madam Beaker, respect the Bible. Bible at the conference of Christia in Istanbul. And there are proud one who pension or you, yeah. To see pensioner, have a rest, brother. Anyway, 
Allah Akbar. No. No God. Christian start speaking with Christian now. Mr. Christian. Mr. Christian. Hello. Excuse me. We must live. This is not the full Quran. It is not. This is not the full Quran. This debate. No, no, no. Let this debate carry on. Other people start speaking. How can I speak? No, no, no. Those are missing. Anyway, anyway, anyway. What are what are the Can I? Hey, you Christians, if you want to talk to each other over there. What's wrong with you? No manners. Yo ho! Hello! Hey! This is not the whole Quran. www.confused.com. www.lost.com. Assalamualaikum. They are hearing speakers called a standing in front of a Muslim speaker and they start talking to each other. You are wrecking my... No, he okay. asked us a question. We just yes. asked us... Okay. Okay, listen. Translation of the Quran. He says Muhammad is... One... I will step Muslim. down. One... Okay. Okay. One cruise... Not all of them. Not all of them is in there. Brother, excuse me. Let's be organized. Look, it's chaos when so many people speak at the same time. It is chaos. It is disorder. It is disorderly. So we Muslims, we like order. We Muslims, we are not disorderly. Order, order. This is not the House of Commons. This is Speaker's Corner. Order, order. Hey, Mr. Christian. It comes to debate. Hey, Mr. Christian. Look at these Christians. They don't have manners.